What's up guys? Welcome back sa ating channel. Again, this is your math teacher, Sir Gaor. Ready na po ba tayong matuto ng isang panibagong math lesson? So kung ready na, today we will be discussing solving systems of linear equations in two variables by substitution. So ito na bali yung second method natin when it comes to solving systems of linear equations in two variables. So yung una ay yung by graphical method. So this time by substitution. So kung mas madali sa inyo to, so pwede niyo itong gamitin. Okay? At kung sa tingin yung nagustuhan niyo yung video at meron naman kayong natutunan sa video, you may like the video, you may also comment in our comment section. At para sa mga hindi pa rin natin subscribers, please subscribe. So, here is the objective of today's lesson. Solve system of linear equations in two variables using substitution method. Okay, so let's have our drill. For letter A, we are asked to solve the missing value of the variable using the given value of the other variable. Okay, so kung given yung x, solve din natin yung value ng y. Kung given yung y, isolve naman natin yung value ng x. Okay? For letter B, we are asked to write yes if the coordinate is a solution to the given equation, otherwise no. So yes or no lang. So ang gagawin lang po dyan ay isa substitute lang natin. Substitute natin itong 4 dito sa x. Tapos substitute natin yung negative 3 dito sa y. So ganon din yung gagawin sa pangalawa. So dapat mag-equal yung ating equation. So pag nag-equal, lagay yes. Pag hindi nag-equal, lagay no. Good luck! If you are ready, you may now check your answers. Here are the correct answers. For letter A number 1, we have y equals 20. Number 2, x equals 8. Number 3, y equals negative 2. And for letter B number 1, the answer is no. While number 2, the answer is yes. I hope you got a perfect score of 5. Pero kung hindi man po, review yung answers. Dahil kakailanganin natin tong drill na to para sa lesson natin for today. Let us now proceed to our lesson for today, which is solving systems of linear equations in two variables using substitution method. Done by isolating a variable of an equation, then substitute the value of the variable to the other equation. So, kaya nga po siya tinawag na substitution method kasi nga kailangan nating mag-substitute. Okay? So, here are the steps in substitution method. The first one is to isolate a variable. Preferably, the variable with a numerical coefficient of 1 or negative 1. So, anong ibig sabihin dito? Ang ibig sabihin lang, so, tignan natin yung dalawang equations natin. Tapos, tignan natin kung meron ba tayong variable na ang numerical coefficient ay 1 or negative 1. Or yung walang kadikit na number. Kapag walang nakadikit na number sa kanya, ibig sabihin, ang numerical coefficient nun ay 1 or negative 1. Afterwards, substitute the value of the variable to the other given equation. So, pag na-isolate na natin yung variable na yon, yung walang numerical coefficient, yung nasa kabilang side niya, yun ang ipapalit natin doon sa isang equation. For number 3, solve the value of the variable. Kapag napalit na natin yon, so ibig sabihin, meron, na lang, meron tayong equation na iisa lang yung variable na mayroon. So, since one variable na yon, or one variable na lang meron yung equation na yon, masasolve na natin yung value ng variable na yon. Then, afterwards, solve or substitute the solved value of the variable to the other equation to solve the value of the other variable. Since nakasolve na tayo ng value ng isang variable, so kukuha tayo ng equation, yung isang equation, tapos substitute natin doon yung nasolve nating value ng variable para masolve natin yung isa pang variable. And finally, check by substituting the solution to the equations. So, ito po yung, ay yung parang uh, drill natin kanina, yung letter B, na chinecheck natin kung solution ba yung kung solution ba yung coordinates na binigay. Kaya lang, dapat sa lahat ng equations. 
So to clearly understand the steps, here are some examples. Solve the solution of each system of linear equation using substitution method. So for number 1, we have 5x plus 2y equals 16. We may name it as equation 1 since it is the first equation. And we have also y equals x minus 6. So it is equation 2. Okay, since the given, yung pangalawang given natin, yung equation 2 natin, y equals na agad siya, isolated na agad yung variable. So, mas madali ito kapag isolated na agad. So, the best gamitin sa substitution method kung isolated na agad yung ating, ano, yung ating isang equation. Okay, so, since isolated na yung y natin, so, ibig sabihin, meron na tayong value ng y in terms of x, which is uh, x minus 6. Okay, so let's solve that. Since meron na tayong y equals x minus 6, ang gagawin na lang natin, we will just substitute x minus 6 to y in equation 1. So ipapalit natin yung x minus 6 sa y doon sa equation 1. Here is our equation y, equation 1. Yan. Instead of 5x plus 2y equals 16, so nilagyan natin ng pwesto para doon sa ipapalit natin. So yung y daw, ay papalitan natin ng x minus 6. Ayan, so pinalitan na natin. And afterwards, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, isa na lang yung variable natin. Ang natitirang variable na lang natin sa equation na to ay x na lang. So, makakasolve na talaga tayo ng value. So, we can now solve the value of x. Okay, so we have 5x. We will distribute 2. So, 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. And we will just copy 16. We can combine 5x and 2x. So we have 7x. Minus 12 equals 16. We will transpose negative 12 on the other side. So that negative 12 will become positive 12. So napunta sa kabilang side, magpapalit ng sign, naging positive 12 na. So we have 7x. 16 plus 12 is 28. We have to isolate x. So, ang gagawin natin, pwede tayong mag-divide by 7 on both sides or pwede rin naman mag-multiply tayo ng 1 over 7 on both sides. So, pwede rin yung ganon. So, instead, instead of dividing by 7 on both sides, nag-multiply na lang tayo ng 1 over 7. Okay, so 1 over 7 times 7 is 1. So, therefore, ang matitira na lang ay 1x or simply x. 28 times 1 over 7, so it's same as 28 over 7, which is also 4. So therefore, the value of x is 4. Now, let's substitute 4 to x in equation 2. So our equation 2 is y equals x minus 6. So papalit daw natin, or papalitan daw natin yung x ng 4. So pinalitan na yung x ng 4. And then, we can now compute for the value of y. So, 4 minus 6 is negative 2. So, the value of y is negative 2. So, now we have the value of x as 4 and the value of y as negative 2. Therefore, our answer is 4, negative 2. So, therefore, that is the solution. To check if it is really the solution, so let's have the checking. So, on the checking part, para lang po ito dun sa drill natin kanina na letter B, so, substitute lang natin. Remember that the first coordinate is the x, while the second coordinate is the y. Okay, so for equation 1, we have 5x plus 2y equals 16. So, are they equal if it is 4, negative 2? So, pinalitan na yung x, ginawa na siyang 4. Tapos, yung y naman ay ginawang negative 2. Pag kinompute ba natin yan, equal ba yan sa 16? So, let us see. 5 times 4 is 20. While 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So that's 20 minus 4. Is it equal to 16? 20 minus 4 is 16, which is also equal to 16. So therefore, we are true with the first equation. So kailangan lahat ng equations ay masatisfy. Okay, for the second equation, or equation number 2, we have y equals x minus 6. So is it true if we have 4 comma negative 2? Okay, so pinalitan na yung y ng negative 2 at yung x naman ng 4. So what is 4 minus 6? So 4 minus 6 is negative 2, 
which is also equal to negative 2. So therefore, 4 comma negative 2 is really the solution for the given system. Let's now have example number 2. We have 2x minus 3y equals 6. So let us consider this one as equation 1. And we also have 3x plus y equals 9. And let us consider this as equation number 2. Okay. So in this case, hindi na isolated yung y. So ano kaya sa tingin nyo yung pinakamagandang i-isolate nyan base dun sa binasa natin kanina sa step Sabi doon, preferably, yung meron daw variable na ang numerical coefficient ay 1 at saka o kaya negative 1. So, nakikita nyo po ba yung ating variable na merong numerical coefficient na 1 or negative 1? Okay, so ito po siya, yung y. So, ang numerical coefficient niyan ay, y, ay 1. So, therefore, i-isolate natin yung y. So, we will isolate that y. Okay, for our solution... So, we have 3x plus y equals 9. So, to isolate y, we need to transpose 3x on the other side. So, we have now y equals magiging negative 3x na tapos plus 9. So, isolated na yung y. Since isolated na yung y, tsaka na natin substitute yung value ni y na negative 3x plus 9 doon sa equation number 1. Okay, our equation number 1 is 2x minus 3y equals 6. So, papalitan na natin yung y ng negative 3x plus 9. So, yan yung paglalagyan ni negative 3x plus 9. Okay, so then afterwards, isa na lang yung variable natin. So, pwede na natin compute yung value ng x. Okay, so we have 2x. Distribute natin yung negative 3. So, negative 3 times negative 3x, we have positive 9x. And negative 3 times positive 9 is negative 27. That is equal to 6. 2x plus 9x is 11x. We will just copy negative 27. Also copy 6 on the other side. Okay. Continuation. So that is our equation. 11x minus 27 equals 6. So we will isolate x. Transpose negative 27 on the right side. So we have 11x equals 6. Yung negative 27 natin, positive 27 na siya. So, we have 11x equals 6 plus 27 is 33. Okay. So, to isolate x, last na, hindi divide na natin by 11. So, 11 divided by, or 11x divided by 11, so it is x. 33 divided by 11 is 3. So, therefore, the value of x is 3. Okay. Afterwards, since meron na tayong value ng x na 3, we will substitute 3, 2. So, pwede namang sa equation 2, kagaya nung ginawa natin sa example 1 natin. No? Kaya lang, mas maganda dito na sa naka-isolate na yung y. Para pag-compute natin, um, may value na agad yung y. Kasi kapag sa equation 2 pa tayo nag-substitute, magta-transpose pa tayo. So, pwede rin dito sa y equals negative 3x plus 9. Ito. Okay? So, pero pwede rin po sa equation 2. Okay, so y equals negative 3x plus 9. So, pinalitan na yung x ng 3. So, therefore, we have negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 plus 9. And negative 9 plus 9 is 0. So, therefore, the value of y is 0. We have a value of x that is 3. We have a value of y that is 0. So, therefore, we have an answer that is 3 comma 0. So, the solution is 3 comma 0. But we are not quite sure. Tingnan muna natin by checking. Okay, is 3 comma 0 really the solution? Okay, so the equation 1 is 2x minus 3y equals 6. So, papalitan natin yung x ng 3 at yung y ng 0. So, are they equal? So, pinalitan na yung x ng 3 at yung y ng 0. 2 times 3 is 6, while negative 3 times 0 is 0. So, we have 0, or 6 minus 0, is that equal to 6? 6 equals 6, so therefore, it is true for the first equation. What about equation number 2? So, napansin nyo, nung nag-checking na tayo, yung equation number 2 na yung ginamit natin, kasi yun yung original equation. Okay, is 3 comma 0 true also for this one? 
Okay, pinalitan natin yung x ng 3 at yung y ng 0. So, are they equal? Pag kinompute, 3 times 3 is 9, while 0 remains 0. So, 9 plus 0 is 9, which is also equal to 9. So, therefore, on both equations, the solution is true. So, therefore, it is really the solution for the given equation or equations. The best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. So therefore, kung gusto nating makasigurado na naintindihan talaga natin yung ating pinanood, therefore, we have to do the try this. We are asked to solve the solution of each system of linear equation using substitution method. Okay? So good luck! Okay, so if you are done, let us now check your answers. Kayang-kayang ma-perfect ang ating try this for today kasi meron tayong way para ma-counter check kung tama ba yung solution natin or hindi. So ano pong masasabi nyo sa substitution method compared sa, sa graphical method? So mas madali po ba ang substitution compared sa graphical solution or sa graphical method? So you may comment it in the comment section. At hintayin nyo sa susunod na video yung elimination method. No, baka mas madali pa yung elimination method. Okay? So, I hope to see you again in our next videos. What's up guys?